in this video, the Python clear list method. All right, so what is clear? So let's say we had a list and we had a equals one, two, three, right? Well, how could we remove all of the elements in this list? Well, the easiest way is to do a dot clear with no arguments. And when we run that, we now have an empty list for a, and we can check the type and see that a is still a list. We, we have kept a list, but we've removed all the elements. So that is the Python clear list method in a nutshell. And in this video, I'm going to go over a couple of the more nuanced points about the clear list method, a little bit of the history as well. So keep on watching. So the first thing I want to do is just to go over the docs and the history. And the clear list method was added in Python 3.3. And I can search and see that we have added the new list methods to both the list and byte array. And these are copy and clear. So clear was added in Python 3.3. And that begs the question, what did people do before Python 3.3 and in Python 2 and in previous versions of Python? How did they do it? Well, if we come over to the data structure docs and we come down to clear, uh, this will tell you a little bit of the story. Basically, it says for list.clear, um, it removes all items from the list, pretty simple, and it's equivalent to delete A with the slice notation. So basically, pro prior to Python 3.3, this is how you would have had to do it. So those two things are equivalent. And I think the idea is that dot clear is just much more readable. So it goes along with the, the Zen of Python that we want to have uh, clear and obvious syntax. So let's try out both of these and check that out. So we'll create our list again, a equals one, two, three. And you could do a delete slice notation, boom. And then when we check A again, we have our empty list and we still have that list. We've just removed all of the elements from within it. So delete A is exactly equivalent to A dot clear. So these two things are equivalent. Now, one question you might be asking is, all right, but couldn't I just do A equals empty list or A equals list? and call it a day just doing something like that? Well, no, you can't, and let me explain why. So let's say we had our list A equals one, two, three, and we did something like B equals A, all right? So A is one, two, three, and B is one, two, three now. So what if you changed A? Well, because of the reference, you might unintendedly change things for B. And so what I mean is this. So if I did A equals empty list here, um, a is empty list, cool, but B is still one, two, three. So if that's what you're going for, sure, that's one way to do it, but you're not changing things in place. You're really reassigning A. So let's see what that would look like again. If I did A equals one, two, three, B equals A, and then now we did clear. So if I did A dot clear, A is our empty list, and B is our empty list. So we see how that is completely different now. How B, before, when we had kind of re-instantiated A or assigned a new uh, list to it, um, B did not change along with it. But in this case, B did change along with it. Um, so that's my explanation. But we can go over to Stack Overflow as well and look at their explanation and look at how they do it. So they say, Clearing a list in place will affect how all other will affect all other references of the same list. So this method does not affect other references, right? The reassigning of A, but this one does affect it. So uh, manipulating it in place, either through delete or through copy, right? So those are the big differences here. And we go down, we scroll down more. And there's actually even more ways to clear it in place. So there's clear, the subject of this video. There's delete, which is the equivalent that's referenced in the docs. Uh, you could also do it this way, kind of reassigning the slice notation, or you could do it this fourth way. I kind of don't recommend it, even though it says it's the fastest because it's a little bit unreadable and it's not great for uh, novice and intermediate developers. So 
yeah, pretty much that is the clear list method in a nutshell. Um, does not take any arguments. A dot clear, much more clean and readable way than doing a uh, delete with the slice notation. So the a list method. Now you know all the gotchas and a little bit of the story behind it, and you can use this method with confidence. Thanks for watching.